guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another episode of What Shall We Do Next? I hope you guys, as always, are having an awesome day. Uh, happy Monday to you all. Welcome back to another week. Hopefully you guys are doing something productive and something you want to do. Um, just make this week count because you're never going to get it back. So uh, before I get started on this video, though, I want to say if you guys are new here, please subscribe. If you haven't already, there is a subscribe button here on the screen. We've recently just hit 21,000 subscribers. We're on the road to 22. My goal is to get to 30. So if you guys are not yet subscribed, I would love you guys to join me on this journey. Uh, and also my social media links are all in the description. So go follow me on everything, guys. Uh, but welcome back. And I have something pretty serious to talk about. It's not really fun. It's pretty serious. So this is regarding a YouTuber who uh, has a channel called uh, Pranked, Pranked and Spanked, I, I think, or Prank and Spank. Um, it's it's a kind of... I remember when I first started out on YouTube, um, I found out about this channel, and I thought it was funny. You know, it, was, it just seemed pretty like... Um, they were not too crazy of a prank. They were just literally small little pranks on each other. Two lovers who are both, um, they both happen to be deaf. I don't know if they're fully deaf, but they have a hard time talking. You can tell by their voices. Uh, they can't really, they have like a speech problem. Uh, but I think that's just because they're deaf. They can't hear. They use sign language when they're talking. Um, and they're really, they seem like really nice people. That I. I haven't heard of them in a really long time, but I just happened to check on their channel the other day because um, I was like, you know who I haven't watched in a long time? Pranked and Spanked. Um, so I decided to type them in. I found them. They're still making videos. Um, and But the video that I saw was pretty serious, and it was the most recent video that had been uploaded to that channel. Um, there was... Uh, I think they hadn't posted for like three weeks or something like that before this video. So I was like, oh god, um, and it said, the title was simply something like, um, Arrested for Rape. And I was like, uh oh. So I clicked it, it was Scott, the, the two people who run this channel are Scott and Annette, and they're both in love, they're both husband and wife, um, they're both deaf, and they always seemed like a perfect couple for each other. They seem perfect for each other, not just because they're deaf, but they both obviously have the same interests. They both obviously enjoy pulling pranks on each other. Um, and they made this little channel where like they pull a prank on each other um, And then they spank them if they if they get them with the prank and it was it was pretty funny um, But this video says at the beginning. It's pretty it's gonna be a pretty serious video. There's nothing fun about it um, And it's Scott talking to the camera um, He's doing like sign language and he's saying um, There is subtitles saying about he's telling a story about how he recently got arrested for being accused of raping somebody and I was like oh no not another one um, but he admitted on camera that there was a girl who he knew had been flirting with him for years uh, had been touchy-feely with him he decided to um, cheat on his wife Annette with this girl uh, he doesn't name any names or anything like that um, he, he cheated on her he didn't say specifically what he did, but he cheated on her. He admitted that he had sexual relations with this girl, um, and she was happy about it. Like, she was laughing, and they were having fun. Um, and she went and told the cops that he raped her, and he got arrested for it. So he had to spend, I think it was like 30-something hours in jail, uh, and it, it really upset him. He was scared. He didn't know what was going to happen next. But now he's talking about it on camera. He said it was all like a false accusation. She accused him of rape when he didn't. Um, she was basically one of those girls who um, is like all over you and then cries rape when you do anything back to her. Um, but I want to feel sorry. I want to feel bad for this guy. I want to feel bad for Scott, but I can't. I cannot feel sorry for him. Because when you cheat on somebody, I, you know, there's one thing in this world I cannot stand. And I hate more than anything else, it is cheaters. I hate them so much. I think that's because I've been cheated on in the past. Um, and I hate cheaters. Like, man, I hate them. Um, and I want to feel bad for this guy. And also, the fact that he's deaf, um, it makes you feel bad for him. Like, just naturally, you start to feel bad for him because of his condition. But then you realize, like, just because he's deaf doesn't mean he didn't know what he was doing. He... He willingly cheated on his wife, 
and this is the consequences for it. So just don't cheat, guys. Don't cheat. Um, look, let's go over and check the video out if you want. Um, uh, if I remember, I'll post it in the description for you guys to check out. Uh, but he's saying like he, that Annette is now filing a divorce. She, they're apparently they're breaking up. They're getting a divorce. He's begging for another chance. He's begging to the camera. She must have moved out because he was saying, Annette, if you're seeing this, uh, the time I spent in jail. <clears throat> made me reflect our our time we had together over the the years we've been married um and i want to feel bad for him because his life is ruined but i can't that's the consequences of cheating if you go and willingly cheat on the person that you vow to to stay loyal and faithful to forever and ever and you go and cheat on them not only is adultery a sin but it's also just a nasty, evil, horrible thing to do. I've been cheated on, and it hurts worse than anything else on this planet. Like, I, man, it's just a horrible feeling to know you've been cheated on. So, the only person I'm feeling sorry for here is Annette. Because she should never have had to go through that. They were such a perfect couple. I know sometimes, like, it's, sometimes you're tempted to do things and you, you, you're... You just gotta fight that temptation. It's just that's evil trying to, and you gotta fight that evil instead of falling for it, man. Because now look, you've ruined your life, and I want to feel sorry for you, but I can't. I'm sorry, but I can't. Um, but the moral of the story, guys, don't cheat on your boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, wife, whatever you have. Don't cheat on them. Um, it's because you're one you're gonna have to live with that for the rest of your life even if you get away with it and i hope you feel the guilt for eternity if you did that um but mainly if you get caught out and your life's ruined then it's your own fault don't come to me for sympathy because you will not get it uh so just don't cheat guys it's the worst thing in the world um i've wanted to end my life over being cheated on so it's just not a nice thing to do to anybody just because of your sexual desires if you want to go and play the field um and have sex with everybody you can every freaking girl you can find or every guy you can find be my guest go do that but don't be in a committed relationship and don't put a ring on somebody's finger if you if you want to if you're wanting to do that if you want to go and just sleep with everybody don't do it because it's not cool. It's not cool. It's not. It's just horrible. I'm getting angry right now thinking about it. But um, that's what's happened. Go check out the video for yourself. And let me know what you guys think about cheaters. Question of the day is what do you think about cheaters? Magic 8 Ball. Do you think cheaters are possibly the worst people on this planet besides murderers and rapists? It straight up says yes. I told you, man, this thing never lies. That's, this is, I told you, this is the best thing, $5 I've ever spent. So there you have it, guys. My Magic Cape all agrees with me. Um, besides rapists, the murderers, ra uh, cheaters are the, the next worst thing. So that's my opinion. What do you guys think? I'm, I'll be lucky. Uh, what, what, huh? I'll be looking to find out what you guys think in the comment section. So go do that. And remember, guys, keep chasing your dreams, yo.